In this video, we'll learn how to craft more intricate and captivating masks that'll transform your videos. Unlock the secrets to creating these awesome effects. Let's dive in. Imagine this, tropical water inside an hourglass. Sounds cool, right? Our foreground clip is the hourglass and the tropical water below it. First off, we're going to work with that hourglass. We'll click it, get our playhead in place, and then it's effects time. We'll hit the overlapping rectangles icon to make that happen. Now let's zoom into the masks and keying section and find our superhero, the draw mask effect. Drag and drop it onto our hourglass clip. In the viewer, we'll start the magic by adding the first point. We can add a linear corner point by simply clicking on the viewer or using click and drag to create a bezier curve. Oh, and here's a pro tip, hold down shift for those neat 45 degree angles. We'll keep adding points until our mask looks like a cool puzzle piece. To finish shaping the mask, let's click back on the first control point. It might look like funky art now, but here's where the real fun starts. A click on invert mask and ta-da. Our mask turns into a window. Isn't that amazing? Remember, it's all about creativity and making cool effects in your videos. Now let's fine tune our mask. We've got some points we can move around to change the shape. Oh, and there's this cool thing called the inspector that helps us make even more adjustments. If you can't see it, just click on the three sliders icon. Then tap on the film strip to find the video inspector. Now let's adjust the feather a little bit around negative 20. Then adjust the fall off at 100. While we're busy changing our mask, we can click on the draw mask on screen controls button to see how it's looking. Ready for the cool part? Press the space key to play the clip and see how awesome our hourglass looks now. Hey, before we move on, can we get a thumbs up? It's like giving a high five and lets me know if I'm doing a good job explaining stuff. Plus, it helps others find this video. Thanks a bunch. Hey, here's another cool trick for you. If you start by making a shape mask, you can later turn it into a draw mask. Let me show you how. First, we'll put a shape mask on our clip and tweak it to get it just right. After all those tweaks, right click on it and pick convert to control points. A little warning might pop up, but don't worry, especially if you haven't added any fancy keyframes to your mask yet. Now we're all set to tweak this like a pro. No more tricky complex masks, thanks to this video and your awesome skills. Now let's level up and learn about tracking a mask in Final Cut Pro. I'll teach you how to make a custom mask that sticks to something moving, even how to highlight an object. Click here to dive in. 